Bias is all around us. With social media and evolving technology shaping the new generation, it can become overwhelming and confusing, which is why it's important for us as media majors to understand what it is and how to deal with it. So what is bias? Oxford Dictionary defines bias as prejudice in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another, usually in a way to be considered unfair. We asked OSU students what they thought about bias and what we could do as media majors to address it. I'm Libby Grollum. I'm from Portland, Oregon. Um, I was born in Bend, Oregon, and I moved around a lot. I moved out of country for a bit, um, but then for the last 10 years I've been living in Portland, Oregon. Now I'm a third year at Oregon State University. My name is Cassidy Parker, and I'm from Northfield, Minnesota. This is, I'm a senior, and I'm studying business marketing and management. So my name is Brianna Villagrana Vanuelos, but my friends call me Bree. I'm from Hillsboro, Oregon. My family's from Mexico. I'm a student. I'm a first-generation student here at Oregon State. I study biology with the option of pre-vet. Hi, um, my name is Bing Lan Liu. I come from China. I'm the senior student in OSU. My major is history. Bias is probably partiality based on prejudices. So I think bias is like prejudice or um, towards like a certain group or people. I think means taking different experiences and forming like an opinion or judgment towards something or someone. This question is kind of tough because I can't give you the answer by just maybe two or three phases because this is too broad. But in my opinion, I think the stereotypes and bias, they are to some large extent, uh, they are overlapped. So for example, um, if, you ha if I have some stereotypes on a certain group of people, I am also biased on these people. In my point of view, I think there are two basic different types of bias. The first type is it deflects from the fact. For example, uh, if, you, if you are doing a report and your report deflects from the fact, then this is also a biased uh, report in my point of view. And the second bias is it's, it's, it's in a way that many people, they they can perceive that it's a bias. In a cause and effect sort of way, to answer that question, bias in the media means that not everyone is represented adequately in media based on biases. I think recently there's been more implicit bias. You know, it's more hidden, but it's still there. I, I feel like it's a little bit of both, but more explicit. I, I do see a lot of like messages that are very direct mm -hmm. sometimes. Women aren't often portrayed in roles of STEM in media. You know, you don't really see a lot of um, female scientists or computer scientists. It's always the geeky dudes in the basement. So specifically in my job, I'm a videographer for the um, College of Engineering, uh, specifically the Electrical Engineering and Computer Science um, School. And part of my job is putting together footage of students. And I have a male coworker who will often neglect putting females in the videos and won't even think about the lack of females in our videos. Bias does play a role in the way we think about things and how if we have our own biases um, we're less likely to be open-minded towards situations and I think we need to work as a society to be less biased. I think education is required because it, it tells people that critical thinking matters, independent thinking matters because you know, when, when, when those people, they trying to infuse some information on you, you have your own judgment, yeah. Well, specifically how like women are portrayed in media, whether that's like in films, TV show, magazines, news, whatever, advertising, like seeing what roles women are put in within the media has greatly influenced like my idea of what a woman is and how a woman should act. I feel like growing up, for sure, 
had like more of a negative impact you would see like a lot of not very much like women representation but also not that many like latin representation so when you would see that and i was very young like i would be like oh i can't really relate to that but okay but i think growing up now knowing like how the media can be sometimes i can learn i learned to not take it so seriously sometimes so it and and it's changed so you see more positive messages um so you know it has more of a positive impact today so i play soccer a lot and you know when i when i first come to the field and nobody's nobody think i can play well because maybe i think maybe because i have an asian face and they think maybe asian guys they are not so good in playing soccer so you know they are biased of course um but in the contrast, it's also about our mindset. You know, don't close your mind. You have to be open-minded. Yeah. Don't don't always think. Don't presume that people they are biased on you. Don't don't presume that people they are they have stereotypes on you. This is also very important. No. No. <laughs> I think there's progress in a lot of areas, but there's a lot of places that we need to continue. Yeah. You know. To work on and part of that is having people within those groups who have been dismissed for the past 30 years being in the room and, be, and saying like my group isn't represented here and they need to be represented yes i think we have in the sense of more people are becoming aware of their potential biases and that um you should try your best not to be biased and i think it's um more inclusive so it's more positive than it was like maybe 30 years ago. Um, even five years ago, you'd see more, um, like let's say there's more ads of, of more women in like different shapes and colors and, and sizes. And, and it's more positive, it's a more positive message for, especially for like women. Um, and, and you see a lot of ads that have more women empowered. So it's more empowering, um, but not just women, also men, it kind of shows like, they shouldn't be so, in, in Spanish they call it macho, so machismo, um, so yeah. <laughs> um. Yes, I think like if you're surrounded by like people who come from the same background as you, it's easy to have your own personal biases towards others. I haven't gone to Mexico, but my cousin actually visited and I definitely noticed a lot of her views were more traditional so when she would go when we would go shopping she would see like an item of clothing that maybe I would like but she would be like oh no that's too much like that's too provocative or you know it's it's definitely um the media over there kind of I think is more traditional and like more men or like I guess the head of the household women should not be above them or something like that. It's it's, def it's definitely different than what you see here. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel sometimes I feel this is super funny because I think people like shortcuts. They like shortcuts, they, you know, because we don't have too much time to to do a lot of research about certain topic. So they, so they just like so, uh, shortcuts. Um, like the, the two-party system in the United States. Well, actually I feel a lot of American they don't actually know what's what's the the de Democrats or the Republican mean. They just like shortcuts. Um, like when they think about uh, Republican, the first the first word the prompt up in their mind bring maybe Donald Trump rather than what the Republicans are trying to do, right? So people like shortcuts, yeah. I don't think so, because we are all biased. No, I don't think so. Because media is, it's someone's interpretation of something, right? And people will always have biases. But again, just having multiple people in the room to say, hey, this isn't being represented correctly can help, but I don't think media will ever be unbiased. Yes, if you're just presenting like stats and facts in situations um, and not including personal, Opinions? No. <laughs> um, people are always going to have their opinions and their different experiences and everything. And 
I think it would be a little difficult to not have that. Um, I feel like people wouldn't have as much of a diverse like mentality, I guess you would say. They, wouldn't, they would be a lot more open-minded. Um, I think maybe boring um, in a sense like um, people who do have bias can share their opinions and then we can hear both sides of the story. So it just sparks conversation and discussions. I think as media students, we need to remain open-minded and we need to continue to educate ourselves on biases and we need to think introspectively about what our own personal biases are and how that's reflected in what we create and to find ways to combat that. For sure, be more open-minded. I think that's very important. Um, and being open to seeing like the different side of a different, like a story or something. Um, just always try to learn and, and know what the other side is or what the different sides of a story, because it's not just two sides. First of all, we have to acknowledge we are biased. This is, this, this is the point. You, you can't say, oh, my report is totally objective. This is impossible. So when, I mean, you know, for correspondents or for reporters, when they're doing their reports, mm, re realize they are biased. It's very important, you know, because my major is history. So from a historian perspective, when we discuss um, some historical e event happened in the past, we always say there is no truth. Okay. Yeah, there's no truth. There's only different personal interpretation about the past. And that is all the interpretation may be true. It, I buy it, then this is true. I don't buy it, then this is not true. <laughs> it's very simple.